Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's obvious you can hear the background noise in this voice recording. Yes. What if I told you that you can transform this crappy voice you're hearing now that was just recorded with an old mobile phone from what you're listening to into this? Sounds interesting, right? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that. And that is also to show you that you don't need to wait till you buy that professional sounding mic to start up whatever you want to do, if it is music production, uh, content creation, and name it. If you're interested to find out how to do this, sit tight as we dive in. Welcome back, guys. I'm back on the normal mic that I use and recording all these tutorials. So I believe you can tell from the quality. So now I will show you the process on how you can enhance your low quality recorded vocals. Maybe something you recorded off a phone microphone or a cheap mic. But before we go into that, there are a few things you need to have in mind. First, try as much as possible to get a clean take. And if possible, try and suppress the background noise in that environment. Now, the AI tool we are going to be using is completely free as of the moment I'm making this video. So head over to Google and type podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. But I'll be leaving the link in the description for easy access. So when you get there, you choose this one right here and it's going to get you to this page as you can see. And before now, have in mind, you must have recorded the vocals you want to enhance, right? Then after that, you come over to this section, as you can see, and click on choose file. And it will open this browser where you pick the file you will be enhancing. In this case, I'll be using the one that we previously heard, the intro. So I will just click on it and click open. Give it time to upload. And as you can see, it's enhancing the speech right now. All right, it is done. Though we've previously had it at the beginning part of this video, but for the sake of clarity, let me preview it again before and after. I know it's obvious you can hear the background noise in this voice recording. Yes. What if I told you that you can transform this crappy voice you're hearing now that was just recorded with an old mobile phone from what you're listening to into this? All right, and as you can see, it did an amazing job. But one thing I discovered is if you record in an environment where the background noise is so much, the platform struggles to really clean it. And by so doing, it eats into the quality of the recorded vocals. So that was why I said, try as much as possible to reduce the amount of background noise in that environment. If it is something that you can control. And once you're done, simply hit download to download your file and import anywhere you want to use it if you are editing a video whatever you are doing with it now i'm going to quickly try it on a singing voice to see how well it will handle it i mean that is where we need it as music producers to see if this will really clean out the voice so let me quickly do that all i want is nothing more to be knocking at my door But if I could see your face once more I could die happy man and I'm sure All right, as you can see, I have it imported inside FL Studio. And by so, you can now further manipulate it, like use EQ to correct some tonal quality and add effects. But so far from what I have, it is not bad. Though I can still hear a little bit of artifacts. I believe the phone I used in capturing this vocal, I think it has a poor inbuilt mic. But let me quickly process this and see what the final results will be. All right, let me play it so that we hear what we have now. All I want is nothing more. That is before and. All I want is nothing more. To be a knocking at my door. 
So what I simply did was just to apply an EQ, a reverb, and a delay. Bore. It's not in the best quality, but it's, it's a good place to start, you know, considering the type of mic that you used. So one thing I observed is there is this artifact that is so obvious on the vocals and I strongly believed is because the background noise where I recorded it was a whole lot. So I think the AI tool is struggling to control the background noise and at the same time enhance the vocals. So experiment with this and while doing it, try to record in a more quieter environment and see the output you get. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Like I said earlier, the link will be in the description. Try it out and uh, share your findings in the comments. And if you're coming across my channel for the very first time, we talk about music production related topics like tips and tricks, like the one you just watched. And we review plugins and at the same time we share free music production tools here so feel free to subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more content like this as always stay creative stay focused and see you guys in the next one bye for now